Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Jason here. Before we get into today's video, I have an announcement to make. I recently did a poll not that long ago asking you guys if I should make longer videos or just stick with the shorter ones, and the majority of you said make longer videos. So I have decided to do something different with the Magnus series. For today's video, instead of sharing only one creature with you like I would normally do, I'm going to share four of them with you. Each new creature has a unique ability and role to play in the Magnus ecosystem. I will be showing you guys four carnivores that Dr. Redwood has shown to the planet, and if this video does well, the next video I make will be about four herbivores. So if you find yourself enjoying this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and tell your friends about me. It will really help a lot. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. The Morta Minurus is a descendant of the Concavenator, and this small carnivore is essentially a miniature version of the much larger Mortem Supremus. They travel in groups of three to four members and heavily rely on teamwork to survive. Its name means Lower Death, and they sport the same aggression level as their relative. In a pack, they are extremely dangerous and will attack just about anything. However, when alone, a single Mortem Minurus is completely harmless and will become very skittish. They are relatively small, only coming in at about 8 feet tall, 15 feet long, and only weighing about a ton. But despite their size, they are able to bring down prey up to four times their own body weight when in a pack. They are also relatively intelligent, able to problem solve when it comes to hunting for their food. Though not as intelligent as the Camo Raptor, the Mortem Minurus is still intelligent enough to adapt to the environment on Magnus. The Pyrorex is a descendant of the Lythronax that lives in the desert areas of the planet. Because of this, Dr. Redwood mainly refers to this creature as the Desert Deus Tyrannus, even though it is much smaller than its two relatives. Only coming in at around 35 feet long, 17 feet tall, and weighing up to 5 tons. They mainly travel in mated pairs and are usually mates for life. Just like the Cryotyrannus's Frost Breath, the Pyrorex has something called a Heat Breath. What makes the Pyrorex unique to the other predators of the planet is that it prefers its food cooked over raw. After killing its prey, the Pyrorex will cook its food until it is well done, and then, when cooked long enough, it's dinner time. Dr. Redwood would jokingly call this creature the chef of the planet, and the name fits. The Debilitodon is a descendant of the Troodon that lives in the deepest and most dense parts of the jungles. By day, they are very docile and like to sleep a lot, but by night, they are aggressive and very active. They would stalk the jungles at night, looking for food, and they will eat just about anything. They travel in groups of 8 to 10 members and aren't very large, only growing about 4 feet tall, 7 feet long, and only weighing about 50 pounds, but don't let that fool you. They are very fast, agile, and intelligent, able to coordinate surprise attacks on their victims. This creature has a bite that completely paralyzes its prey, giving it the name Debilitodon, or Paralyzing Tooth. When the prey is immobilized, the pack will feast on their freshly made kill while it is still alive. The victim can't feel anything anyway due to being paralyzed. However, there is one major downfall. The Debilitodon cannot paralyze larger creatures such as the Octoceratops or anything larger than that because they are too large for the paralysis to take effect, making them immune. 
The worst the Venom could do to them is drain their stamina for a short period of time and maybe cause minor hallucinations that wear off in a few hours. The Malonychus is a descendant of the Deinonychus that lives in the jungles of Magnus. Their speed and size rivals that of the Camoraptor, coming in at about 9 feet tall, 12 feet long, and weighing about 300 pounds. They travel in groups of 5 to 8 members and are very pack-oriented. Its name means Malevolent Claw because it has a history of torturing its victims before eating them. This is because of its high intelligence, and it uses the environment to its advantage. The Malonychus loves making the hunt interesting by making its prey suffer heavily. Death to a Malonychus is slow and painful, and there is nothing the prey can do about it. After the creature has had its fun, the Malonychus will eventually kill its prey, and then the pack will begin to dine on their newly made kill. From a distance, Hiram Lincoln was watching the Malonychus at work, which gave him an idea for a hybrid monster. And that is going to have to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help a ton. And until next time, I will see you in the next one.